Hey, this is Bob back at you with another Glide tutorial, and this one's all about badges. So how to create badges in your Glide app that you can award to users and have them be displayed per user within your app. Uh, it's actually fairly simple. You just have to set up your spreadsheet right. And so here you see my player profile tab. And if you scroll down, I now have a section for badges earned. And this section is populated automatically based on some different criteria and different conditions. Um, this is just an inline list of the available badges that I've earned. Let me show you how I set it up. So first thing you need two different sheets. You need a sheet where you have all of your players and the badges that they've earned as well as a sheet with all of the badge information. I recommend setting up the badge information sheet first. So mine looks like this, where I have um, the name of my badge, the image of the badge, the description of the badge, and then I also included the badge number set up as the same name, so badge, 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 and then uh, an increase in numeral, one through five. And you could do this manually. Um, I have it set up so that it's automatic. So if, if I were to add an additional row here and put something into the name, it'll automatically create for me that next record, a badge, then the next number. Uh, this formula is an array formula, basically saying if there is something in a column, then include the words badge plus a space plus the row that it's on. Um, minus one. So since it's on row seven, minus one is now badge six. Okay. Now the reason why you have to have this um, this type of column or this type of information is when you go to create your relation between the actual badge information here and the badges that this uh, that your users have have been awarded. Now I decided to create mine here in the actual badge sheet only because it's more automated that way. Um, if you wanted to, you could create this information in your player sheet and have that done automatically too. It's up to you, um, but I decided to have it here. All right, so um, once you've done this, I'm gonna delete this row here. Once you've done this, then back in your player inventory, sorry, your player profile sheet, you need to also now have um, an individual column for each badge. So, so far I have five badges, so I would need to have five columns that are named badges one, badge two, badge three, badge four, and badge five. Okay, so here I have done that, right, badge one through five. And uh, you could do this manually, like I said, you could just type this out. I've chosen, again, be automatic. And all it's doing is it's transposing my badge list. So if I were to add a sixth badge, it would automatically show up here in the sixth column. All right. Then the beauty of this information here, why you want to have this is because in Glide, whenever you have multiple columns in a row where it's named the same, but you have an increasing number like so, badge one, badge two, or item one, item two, item three, and so forth, Glide recognizes this matrix of values as a single array column. So it takes the whole matrix and condenses it to a single array column where you'll have these different values in the same column here. Let me show you what that looks like. So I go to my data, I go to my player inventory tab, and now you'll see here that I don't have a badge one through five columns. It's been condensed to a single badge array column. And all of this information that you see here highlighted, okay, is now in within that single column here um, as individual values in the single cell. So these five values, all occur within the single cell of this one column. This is where the magic happens, all right? Okay, so um, different ways that you can go about awarding the badges. You can do it manually, right? So if this player here, player number five, was awarded badge one, I could physically type in the name of the badge here. Um, I don't like having to do that. I'd rather have it be automated. <clears throat> so depending upon how the badge is being earned, you can set up some formulas here in your sheet, right? Um, these two badges are earned by players completing challenges in my app. These three are earned based upon them commenting and making chats within the app. And so on the first row here, I just have an array formula set up that here, for example, for the challenges that, hey, if they've completed a challenge uh, based upon the records in this daily challenge log, and if, so if they've completed at least one, it's greater than zero, then hey, add the name first challenge to that column. And that's what it does. Same thing here. Uh, if they've added more than five or you know five or more, then they've earned the badge fifth challenge. 
Uh, same thing for your comments, right? If the comments sheet, right? Uh, then if it's more than zero, then they earn one, right? If it's more than five or greater than or equal to five, they've done the second badge and so forth. And so it's automatically been applying those badge names to the respective cells for each player. Okay. Now, note here, it's very important that the values here are the names of your badges. And it's, they have to match the same name as in your badges list because you want to create that relation between these two sheets based upon the badge name. All right. Okay, so um, magic happens. Here I have my array column with all of my badge names. And now what I can do is create a multiple relation of this column to the column of my badge names in my master badge list. So to do that, I've added a new column. I called it badge relation. And as you see the information here, um, it matches the value in my main badges list and it matches the name field and it's multiple because more than one player can earn that badge. Right? And so now I have this information as part of the badge relation. And now I can start pulling in that badge information. I can look up the badge images. I can look up the badge description. I can look up the badge name. Or I can do all these different things just based upon the badge relation. So now that I have the badge relation here, I can create a component for it. So what I've done is back in my layout, I wanted to place the earned badges in the player profile tab. So I created a new inline list and that inline list is being fed the values from that badge relation we just created. And all I'm pulling is just the image, right? Because the name of the badge or the badge image itself has the name of the badge already in there. Otherwise, if you wanted to, you could certainly, you know, put a title in there, paint the name, right? Or if that's too big for you, you can do the description, the details is maybe the name, right? So it fits within there. Looks, maybe I'll leave that. It looks kind of nice. Um, only thing is, is that your code, like chat cat one, chat cat two, doesn't necessarily maybe line up with the name of your badge. But that's up to you. So here, I'll leave, I'm leaving it like this. Um, again, it could be uh, set up in a grid format like this. If you want like an inline list, just a big row of them, you can do that too. Uh, eventually, if I end up having like 30 or 40 badges here, I don't want it taking up all that space. I might make it an or a horizontal um, arrangement here so that they would scroll left to right to see all their badges. All right, it's completely up to you. All right, so then now that you have these badges um, within your player profile, what's neat is because the relation is still there, I can click on any of these and see the information for that badge. So here I can be award, right? So I see what the name of it is. I can see a description. I see the image here. But I wanted to go one step further and show, okay, well, who's already earned the badge? And so for this, I needed to create a reverse relation. So back in my badges list here, I just did a reverse relation relation. So now I am asking, or I'm creating that relation based upon the name of the badge back to the player inventory. Um, and it's looking up that array column that it created for me. So it's looking up that array column of the badges and I'm matching multiple again, because players may have earned more than one badge, right? And uh, more than one player may have earned a single badge. So then once I've done that, again, I can pull information. So now I can pull the player images, I can pull the player name, and I can use these as part of the components in that tab. So back here again, I go, uh, I create a new inline list. This inline list is being fed the values of those badge owners, that reverse relation that we just took a look at, and I'm feeding it the name and the image, and I'm having it set up in such a fashion that it looks like the other, um, players that have dot, dot, dot in my app. I have the same sort of setup in my shop. So players that have bought the, a particular item. Um, I have done this in my guilds. So players that belong to a particular guild, right? And so forth. And then if they click on any of these, it'll be brought to that player profile, which shows so forth. I might now even add, why not, right? We're already here. Let's add that inline list again of the badges that that player has earned. Why not? Because it's there, a bad relation. And let's set it up in the same way, have it look the same thing that we did before. So we'll do tiles and we'll have it set up so that it's four across and that it's square, just like that. And we'll make it so that the details, not the title is the name of the badge. So it's smaller. Perfect, I like it. Boom, okay. And now we wanna call it player profile. We wanna call it uh, earned badges. Okay, so now I can, while a 
now while a player is browsing somebody else's profile, all right, they can see what badges that player has earned, and they go, oh, what badge is that? I don't know what badge that is. And they can go and click on see, oh, it's the fifth challenge badge. Oh, look, Bob is the only person that's earned it, or whatever. Okay. So uh, that information is there. I also created a separate tab of just all the available badges in case players want to see what badges are available. Right. And I have just as a as a list, I could have done a compact list. I might still do that too if the badges are um, I end up having like 40 or 50 badges. And they get that same view if they click on any of them, right, who's earned the badge and so forth. So uh, certainly possible, fairly easy. Uh, it's just this magic of making sure that your badges list here is located in two spots. Again, you need to have a spreadsheet of all your master badges and make sure the names of those badges are located as values within this array column setup that you have within whatever desired tab you want. So I hope this has helped. Hope you'll, you'll now instill some badges into your app. And if you have any questions, you can email me at robert.petito at woodward.edu. And as always, thanks for watching.